Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to take a slight detour from building to dive into the Terraform state a bit so we better understand how information about our deployment is stored for Terraform to use. This is probably one of the most important concepts with Terraform. So make sure you read over the documentation a good bit if you really want to understand how things work. But essentially, we're just going to take a look here and see exactly what is stored in our state as we deploy resources. As you can see, there's a lot here in the docs, and we're going to explore several pieces of this as we build our infrastructure. So here we are. Right here, after we have now deployed our fresh new VPC, as you remember in our AWS resources pane here, you can see all of this wonderful information about our VPC. Now, another way we can see what we've deployed is to head into our Explorer and right here, our terraform.tf state file. As you can see, we have a lot of the same information, default network ACL, default route table ID, security group ID, the VPC ID there. As you can see, all of that is here. VPC ID, default network ACL, security group, etc. Now it's formatted a little bit differently, but it's for the most part, the same information. And this was all pulled right from the AWS API. So now typically you're not going to want to traverse this TF state manually as it will normally be stored somewhere offsite, whether it's in Terraform Cloud or in AWS or somewhere else. So we have several different tools we can use, command line tools, to access the state. So let's take a look at Terraform state list, just like so. As you can see, we only have one piece in our state, one resource, that MTC VPC that we deployed. So if I want to see that information within that VPC, I can run a Terraform state show AWS VPC dot MTC VPC. As you can see, shown right here. If I hit enter on that, we have all of the same information. So we've got information here from our API. We've got information here within our state, the state file specifically, but this is all the same information. It's just formatted a little bit differently. Now you can output as JSON and really manipulate that output, but we're not going to dive into that right now. All right, and of course, if you want to see the entire state, all you have to do is just type Terraform show. So keep that in mind. Terraform state show requires you to insert a resource. Now Terraform show is just going to show you everything that you've got, which of course can be massive if you have a very large environment. So those are the basics of our state and the information that's being stored within it. There are a lot of commands that you can use to manipulate that state, to refresh it, to migrate it but we're not going to dive into that right now, but just know it'll be very beneficial to you if you dive into the documentation a little bit and just read all about state as it is the most important feature within Terraform. All right, so that's all for this lesson. Go ahead and mark it complete. Come on back to the next one and let's get back to building.